Okay, so let's try to solve this uh, simple problem for uh, resistors in series. So according to, to this example, so let's compute first uh, for the equivalent uh, resistance, then the current in the circuit, then uh, the potential drop across each resistor. So we have here a voltage source given the value of 18 volts. Then we have three resistors. So let's, let's say this is R1, and this is R2, then this is R3. So your R1 has a value of 12 ohms, your R2 has a value of 5 ohms, your R3 is just 1 ohm. Given this uh, circuit diagram, uh, we can say that the three resistors are connected to a series circuit. And this is because if we have a current, let's say current I, so this current I is the same for all my resistors. So therefore, in order to get uh, the equivalent resistance for uh, a resistors or a set of resistors connected in series, we just need to add all of their values. So R2 plus R3. So we know the value of R1, so that's just 12 ohms. Then your R2, which is a value of 5 ohms. Your R3, which is, which is uh, 1 ohm. So therefore, my equivalent resistance is equal to 18 ohms. So it's very simple. Uh, and it means that we can rewrite or re-express this circuit diagram as this. So we have still your 18 volts of voltage source. Then uh, we have this single resistor, which is your equivalent uh, resistance value, which is equal to 18 ohms. So both of this uh, circuit diagram, so they are uh, the same, they are equivalent to each other. The next thing that we want to calculate is the value of the current that will pass through uh, your circuit. So for this case, given that this is a series uh, connection of three resistances with a certain voltage source, so what we can do is we use your uh, V is equal to IR formula. And we know that your I is equal to V over a certain R, wherein R, the, the value of R here is your R, R equivalent or your equivalent resistance. So the value of your voltage source is 18 volts. So we have 18 volts here over the value of the equivalent resistance for this circuit uh, diagram. Then we have 18 ohms. So the value of I for this uh, circuit is equal to 1 ampere. So it's simple as well. So the last thing that we want to identify for this example is the, the value of the potential drop across each resistors. So in order to get that, we know the value of the current that will pass through this series circuit, which is just 1 ampere. We can use this value to calculate the voltage or the potential drop across each resistors. So let's say for the first resistor R1, the value of my potential drop V1 is equal to I times R1. So I know the value of I, which is just 1 ampere. So R1 is given, which is 12 ohms. So therefore, my V1 or the potential drop across R1 is equal to 12 volts. So same goes uh, with your R2. So I times R2. So this is just equal to 5 volts. Then for my third resistor, I have I, R2, R3. So this is equal to 1 volt. 